Today, we are going to go pick up an Xpeng G9. There is debate in China that the Xpeng G9 is one of the best SUVs under 500k RMB. Now, obviously, the ES7 exists. Obviously, the Li Auto L9 exists. So what is going on? Today, we're going to go find out. I'm going to take you exploring through Beijing because that place is really far away from here. So we're going to explore Beijing. We're going to get some awesome shawarma. And then we're also going to pick up the G9. All right, let's go. First of all, the uh, subway station is pretty far from where I live. So I'm actually going to drive my car to the service center, which is right next to the subway station. The Neo service center. I'm going to place my car there. And we're going to take the subway, head on into the city. Oh, look. There's a Lee Auto parked in front of me. An L9. Oh, it's an L8, actually. L8. My bad. All right, let's hop on. Ooh, it's so cold, guys. Ooh, man. Holy smokes. It's so cold. Oh, my God. Guys, we're like right over here. This is us. We got to go all the way down here. Transfer here. That's us, man. Guys, we finally arrived at Stanley Twin. Behind me is Soho. We're actually gonna go get some awesome shawarma. If you're ever in Beijing, you gotta come to this place and try out the shawarma that I'm about to show you. It is absolutely mind blowing. Holy smokes. All right, let's get going. There we have it, guys. Wow. Uh, yeah. Holy shit, this is so good. Wow, take a look at that. Damn. Shawarma, man. Guys, there's a perfect balance of vegetables and meat. It just tastes so good. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna get a lamb one. So guys, uh, I'm here at the Xpeng store. We're gonna go inside, take a look, and uh, just get you guys some B-roll. Uh, we got the P7 over there. We got the G9. And also, I think we got the G3 there as well, and probably the P5. But we'll take a look. Looks really, really nice. Of course, we're gonna be getting the G9 later. It's not at this location, but it's somewhere else. So let's go in and take a look. That door's broken. Push to open. And here we got the P7. Whew. Of course, the G9, very nice looking. And the P5. All right, guys. Take a look at the P7. Holy smokes. The dimensions on this is just so elegant. And then here we got the P5. Now my opinions for the P5 are a little bit more reserved, but something that you can see is that you've got that flat bed over there. I think that's something that I'm gonna get on my G9 as well. P5, very nice car. Just a quick look at the store. You got wheels, the rims, and then here you got the powertrain. Uh, I'm not sure what powertrain this is for, but that looks pretty cool. Show you what kind of tech they got. Very nice. And then let's take a look inside the P5 actually. Uh, we've actually been inside the P5 before, 
but this is just another look. They got the AC turned on. It's very warm in here. And massive screen, vertical screen. I got I I don't I don't see why people are still putting vertical screens in their cars. That's my biggest complaint with my Neo. But overall, very nice leather. But this is their entry level sedan. Very nice car. They don't have the G3 over here. But damn, the P7. P7 always looked really nice. It's got the elegant proportions. And the interior is just one step up above the, P, uh, the P5, the P of course. Nice capacitive buttons. Very nice. Cool. Nice red interior. And of course the G9. Here we got the G9. Very big car indeed. We're, we're going to take a closer look later on with our own G9. But nice. This is the store over here, man. And then we got the Xpeng's X2. This is their VTOL aircraft. Oh, look at the propeller blades on this thing. Massive. Massive. Imagine if you were uh, riding one of these. Pretty cool. And of course, we got sort of like a, a resting area, I guess. Uh, resting area slash lounge. But I don't think uh, Xpeng is really known for that. Obviously, they're trying to uh, do what Neo is doing as well. So that's pretty nice. Lots of uh, souvenirs and stuff. Cool. Nice. So let's head on over and get our Xpeng G9. So guys, this is insane. I just got brand new AirPods Pro first gen for 300 RMB. That's like 50 bucks. So what happened was uh, <laughs> one of the uh, delivery guys, delivery workers said he found this and, and uh, they had a company policy where uh, if it's over seven days, the company pays back the customer, whatever the, you know, the, the amount is. So he had this and uh, he wanted to get rid of it. So he was like, hey, can I, can I sell you, uh, can I trade this with uh, two boxes of cigarettes? And I'm like, I don't smoke. And, uh, you know, he, he was pretty persistent. And I thought, all right, sure, why not? Like, how about 300? 300, man, 300. You know, these go for a thousand. Life is random, man. Life is random. Holy smoke, guys. This car is brand spanking new. It doesn't even have license plate, man. It's so new. Look at this car. Man, and this, this metallic gray color. I really like this color, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's hop in and start driving this thing. Boom. Damn. Ho, 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 ho. Holy smokes, guys. Damn. That's interesting boot up sound. Holy smokes, guys. Holy smokes, guys. I'm driving this car. Holy macaroni, man. Holy macaroni. <laughs> 